Welcome everybody to Extreme Off-Road Silly Builds and today we're dealing with the 2006 Hummer H1 Alpha Open Top. Now this is 825 horsepower, 1430 pounds feet of torque from its 7.4 litre turbo diesel V8 engine and the car itself now weighs 5520 pounds. Came with all-wheel drive and off-road tyres as standard but now has rally suspension which will hopefully make a difference and uh, yeah the car itself now can do 0 to 60 in 3.625 seconds 0 to 108.75 30 seconds and it will go on to a top speed of 165 miles an hour now granted this is only the open top version over the alpha but it is lighter than the standard alpha so uh, yeah that should hopefully give it a little bit of an advantage over uh, other SUVs on this game but it is still nonetheless a very very heavy car I think it is easily one of the heaviest vehicles we've had on this series, so uh, yeah, that weight isn't going to help, but it does have plenty of off-road capability, even standard, never mind with the rally suspension and uh, the uh, wider tyres, so uh, yeah, it's going to have no problem dealing with the surfaces and the bumps and jumps, but yeah, it's still got a lot of weight and it is a really, really wide car as well, so uh, yeah going to be interested to see what it can do quite frankly because it does have a lot of torque and that all wheel drive system is obviously a, a, a standard so it's not going to have any issue dealing with that and the torque will obviously help get out the uh, bends quite quickly as well as you know give us all the torque that we need to uh, deal with the uh, uneven surfaces The primary reason to try this over the uh, hardtop version is purely because it does weigh way less, a lot less than the uh, hardtop version even in stock form, so it has that advantage over it. Plus, as I said in my review, this is a little bit better balanced and because of the weight loss, it will stop better as well. Which is what you need when you're dealing with such a heavy vehicle all the stopping power you can get. I fear this is going to be a classic example of a car that should do uh, well. Not performing as well as, you know, other vehicles that really aren't meant for dealing with this kind of stuff. And yeah, it's purely because of the lack of speed, really. I figured the amount of torque we had on the go would uh, make up for the lack of horsepower but unfortunately that is not the case so uh, if you want to try this car out then go for a different engine but 2 minutes 14 seconds point one nine four is our final time. Now I did have the choice of a V8 petrol engine, a V10 engine, a V12 engine and a racing V8 engine and maybe one of them would have been uh, more appropriate given the uh, weight of this vehicle. But that time is still nonetheless ahead of an original Volkswagen Beetle, an MG MGB GT, a Mini X-Ray uh, John Cooper Works Buggy, which is obviously a racing uh, off-road vehicle, so to be quicker than that, as well as a uh, Porsche 959 Rally Raid uh, car is also fairly impressive, but I think the reason this is quicker than those two cars is purely because this isn't as insane. They had a lot of power and uh, yeah, were very lightweight and yeah, were really, really, really quick but not all that controllable, whereas this, fairly decently quick, to be honest, uh, it wasn't exactly, you know, struggling to get above 100 mile an hour or anything like that, but obviously there are faster cars on here, and you saw how slow it's going across the finish line there, where we're usually doing 150 plus, I don't think we're doing 130, so uh, yeah, it, it did come down to the weight and the uh, general lack of horsepower there, but it could have been a lot worse to drive, and uh, yeah, it, it at least managed all the uh, off-road stuff, and uh, that's the least you can ask quite frankly because yeah, if you can't deal with the off-road stuff then you are going to be a lot slower than this. Nonetheless, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.